blind people are being kicked out of gyms because girls are paranoid. It's Vampira Rachel. And Vampira Rhea. And Bella Lagasse son. And we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we died 15 months apart or less. <laughs> happy Halloween! Yes, definitely happy Halloween indeed. But before we get started, please make sure you're following us on social media scrolling below. As well as linked in the description box down below where you will also find his channel. Please subscribe to his channel and tell him the Gala sister sent you. And we also built our own website with three different blogs, our bios, and an online store at www.thegalasisters.com. And if you'd like to stay involved and informed for free, then click that big old subscribe button. And with that, we'll, we'll take, take a look. look. At men who were accused of being creepy at gyms. So it's Halloween, of course, and it wouldn't be a good Halloween without a wonderful, scary story. And boy, do we have a scary story for you today. That's true, we do. It's gonna be pretty damn good. So, our first story, these are, you know, taken off TikTok. Mm, we have. Some scary stories of how Me Too has gone too far to the point where blind men are being accused uh, that of even... harassing women at the gym? What the fuck? <laughs> Does that even make any goddamn sense? Not really. <laughs> so let's play the first one. Let me explain. I'm standing there doing a tricep pushdown exercise, and since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this woman's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at! Huh? I didn't come here to be stared at! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care! Stop staring at me! Huh? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and explain to this guy as well, I'm blind. I wasn't staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at them. <laughs> so that is Pete Gustin. He is a blind surfer. Um, Courtesy of Molly Burke that we even know this clip exists. <laughs> <laughs> Stop staring at me. No, no, no. What I'm in the actual Sam Blue fuck is wrong with you? The life girl was definitely off duty when her jeans were picked from the gene pool. Fucking A. Okay, seriously, a blind person staring at you. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay, I will say this. Not all blind people are totally blind, but... They right. probably won't be able to see you. The odds of them being able to see you are, um, well, not very high. Slim to none, and Slim just left the building. Um, don't be so entitled, lady. You're not the most beautiful woman on the planet. Not everybody is there to go after you. <clears throat> not even everybody looking at you is harassing you. Also, if someone can't see, um... You know, uh, they are not going to be looking at you. And even when the staff member came, like, what the fuck? Like, isn't the ADA going to have some fun with that? Yeah, the ADA is definitely going to have a damn field day with that. And also, to be honest with you, bitch, you're not the most important thing in the world. Moving on to more important things. Yeah, I mean, at this point, he's being harassed. Correct! She's harassing him. The gym owner or worker is harassing him. I mean, it's called ableism. Hello. Oh, you guys think that this is an isolated incident? And it, oh, it's never happened before? Oh, Bobby, I'm so victimized. Wrong. Wrong. Too stupid. 
Once I was in the gym minding my own business on a machine doing whatever exercise and I hear someone a few metres away say, oh, do you like the view? I'm thinking to myself, "Uh oh, we've got a bit of a gym creep here. I wonder what idiot is looking at this poor woman making her uncomfortable. I don't hear a response from whoever she's talking to, but then I hear again much closer to me now. Uh, did you hear me? Why are you staring at me? Now, I don't look stereotypically blind, but one thing I do do, especially when I'm focusing, is just stare into the distance. And it turns out that I was unfortunately staring right at this woman while she was doing her exercise. I replied to the woman who's now inches from my face all up in my area. I say, I'm very sorry, didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I'm actually blind. I was not staring at you. I was staring at nothing. She's not having any of it. She tells me to shut up, calls me a creep, storms off, gets a gym worker. I plead my innocence to them, but they are not listening to me. I was removed from the gym that day. The gym should be a safe space where everyone feels comfortable, but I promise you, not every guy in the gym is a creep. I can't, I can't believe it happened twice. It happened twice? Like, what is happening? Once is understandable, but maybe. twice? <laughs> um, maybe. And you don't let them work out because they're blind. Honey, how is they? How are they going to see you? What if it was reversed? What are they trying to be like Daredevil from Marvel Comics? Seriously, the guy couldn't even see. That's ridiculous. And they kicked him out. He could sue that place. Yes! And probably win. I would. I'd be like, mmm, you sued me. You, you sued me. You kicked me out because I'm blind. Excuse me. Oh, God. It's just, ladies, you've taken this too far. Imagine if that was, if you were working out at Planet Fitness, because they have something called the gunk alarm. Even if you grunt, breathe, slightest motion, the damn thing goes off. And I know that from personal experience because my stepdad was worked out that before. And we will never work out there because that's ridiculous to require people not to make any noise at all. Right. And they don't have, they have pounds over 70, under 70 weights, 70 pound dumbbells. What? But here's the thing. Like if someone is not necessarily staring at you, you know, someone may be aloof. They may be on the spectrum. They may be blind. Yeah. ADHD. Not yes. everything is as it seems, and people are way overreacting, and this Me Too bullshit has gone way too far. And it's actually terrifying when blind people are being kicked out of gyms because girls are paranoid. It, you can't read everything in black and white. It's not so in-depth with fine print. Here's the thing. Or in touch with fine print, rather. So are we going to start kicking people out for reading Braille in the gym, then? They'll be like, we're going to have, like, they'll be going along and we kick them out for that. That's about where we're at. Basically. Now, I really do think that all gyms should stop allowing any sort of recording in there unless you get prior written approval or, or something like that because you're violating other people's privacy because we've seen so many videos across the internet go viral of girls being like, look behind me. He's staring. Isn't it creepy? And maybe we should show you one of those. Yeah. Yeah. We should. It's like this, I hate when there's weirdos. It's me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like fucking feral. Swatch. This is five as five pounds. And these are the weights. Excuse me? You don't have to do that, it's okay. No, no, it's okay, I got it. Thank you, though. See what I mean? Alright, here we go. No, I don't see what you mean. I don't even fucking care what the hell just happened. Also, there. this video looks staged to me. It looks like she's like she's all mic'd up. Why are you mic'd up in the middle of a gym? Yeah. Uh it looks like the guy was actually in on the damn thing and she like told him a few minutes before that actually happened. But even if he did shoot a shot and she said no, which he walks away after she says no, I mean, I don't understand what the big deal is. He's like, you want me to help you do this? No. Okay, bye. Like, uh, do we not want people to get together anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I guess people want to be antisocial, kind of like they were during um, the pandemic in 2020. No more dating. Yeah, and, and, and this is just... A serious problem that we need to we need to find a way to fix. It is. It, it, it's, it is a serious problem. I 100% agree with that. But let me kind of up with something else. People nowadays are too, like, involved with their phones, having their heads literally up their phone's ass. I remember a time when I was still in high school. Yeah, I graduated three years ago, but that's not the point. 
people literally were having their heads up their phones asking like, duh, 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 not paying attention. Duh, 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 duh. What the fuck? Now, this girl, Jessica, who made this, after it went viral and people were like, honey, this isn't harassment. You're, you're just a little girl who probably should never leave your home. Um, she did issue an apology on TikTok. But these kind of Damn things straight. are becoming a very serious problem because we are living a monkey see, monkey do culture. Where, yes. if, where if, you know, one girl sees that, another girl does it, another girl sees that, another girl sees it, another girl sees it, pretty soon it's turned into that thing. Like, you guys, I don't know how many of you guys are on, are on TikTok, but there's that, you know, there's, there's, there's a stitch, the Susie stitch, where, like, some of those Susie stitches are getting a little ridiculous at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Call me crazy, but I don't like store-bought pesto. Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked store-bought pesto. <laughs> and that's, you see that on TikTok, literally like, probably like every 10 TikToks. Well, Susie, let me tell you a, story, a crazy story about blind guys being accused of staring at chicks at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> literally trying to get, the, get, a, get a glimpse of my, uh, perky-ass cheeks. I mean, and... If you watch this video up here, something similar happened to you. When he first moved up here, there was a yes. young lady in the building who no longer lives here. We have follow up on that at some point. Um, <laughs> he was, sure. was like, he started to tell me what to do. And you never spoke to her. And, and she was like, he's creeping on me. And you just stood there like, you tried not to even look at her. Oh. And it escalated up to this video. Or the video I already pointed to. I failed to realize, like, what she was trying to do. I guess she was trying to play mind games or something? I think she was trying to me to you. Basically. Which is completely out of line. And mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's completely out of bullshit, by the way. Mm -hmm. Good riddance. So this is just a serious problem. And this is more... Um, evidence that Me Too has gone way too far. And I think that we need to like set a boundary, like what is sexual, you know, SA, what is SH? We mm -hmm. need to figure that out. What is harassment even? But we the thing is, harassment is, it can be a crime if it goes up to like stalking and shit like that, but harassment is personal and we each have different definitions of harassment. Like, um, me, I might not interpret it in the same way as somebody else. This might not be harassment to Rhea, but it might be to MCK. Like, it's <laughs> it's different per person. So how do you even define it? I have no idea how we're going to define it. I think that that is a society we need to do this. Because at this point, he looked at me wrong. He grabbed my waist. He uh, danced with me uncomfortably. You know, like, that's what we're getting to at this point. It's like the whole... Andrew Cuomo situation all over again, basically. But except the two guys are blind. I understand that, like, all that shit was made up against him. And by the way, that was very fucked up with what they did, by the way. So very I guess we're just going to have to not allow people to hook up anymore. We're just going to have to make test tube babies forever because <laughs> we're just going to have to ban relationships because they're all harassment. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic for those of you who don't understand sarcasm. The other thing I really do want to put in here is that some of you guys have also decided that, you know, you know best about other people. Some of you guys have also decided that. Like when we go live on TikTok, some of you are like, well, uh, he's harass MCK is harassing you. What? What are you talking about? Um, that is completely utter bullshit. Almost a year that we've been together. Yes, they might be um sisters sharing the same man. But again, I've never been harassed towards them in any way, shape, or no. form. Never. Never. Don't ever come out and say that bullshit. You understand? So there are two things that we need to do. We need to, one, learn to mind our own business, maybe. Maybe that would help with these, like, blind guys, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And two, just get someone's backstory. Because if a blind person, if it happened to a blind person, it could happen to anybody. At this mm -hmm. Point. Mm -hmm. And three, make sure you got the damn back straight before you come jumping up or barking up the wrong side of the tree. And it if, you, if some guy is making you feel, or a girl, I guess, is making you feel uncomfortable because they're staring at you and you're like, you're just making me a little uncomfortable, please stop staring at me and they say I'm blind, be like, 
oh, I totally misunderstood. I'm sorry. I feel like an idiot. Okay, let's just go back. Let's forget about the whole thing and move on instead of being like, no, 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 no. I was right. How dare you? No, I want him done. I, I can't admit that I did. I made a mistake. Huh? No. And you get this, you get the staff, and then you look like you ganged up on somebody. Yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous. The staff should say, no, I'm not dealing with this. He's blind. Go away. Yeah. Here's the problem with today's uh, society. They think that everything revolves around, revolves around them. Wrong! Newsflash, fuckhead, it doesn't. So we are going to end the video here. As always, thank you so, 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 so very much for watching this. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button down below. Look what's happening to our channel. Watch it at the end. Watch it, watch it, watch it, because you know you want to, even if you've already seen it. Give that bell a big ring to indicate that you want to be updated whenever we post videos. Right now, our only videos are Wednesdays and Saturdays at 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Never fear, we have a second channel entitled Adventure with the Gala Fam over there. You'll see us do things mostly with the Gala Daughter and lifestyle videos because that's what we're going to do. We're going to divide the channel into two and that's our choice, not yours. Please, again, don't make people's choices for them. We also have a podcast we do just for fun entitled Gab with the Gala Sisters where we talk about movies and TV. That'll probably make its return, I would think, in January, probably. Mm -hmm. We also have our main podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. and Ms. Crazy Wrestling Family, hosted by the one and only fiance to the Gala Sisters. Yes, both of us. Yes, we're engaged. Oh, well, don't worry about it. The DMC Figures World Heavyweight Champion, you don't acknowledge these nuts. You're going to eat my feet. Hey, DMC going to give it to you. Already cannot wait to see what Crown Jewel has in store. Also, Seth Rollins is fucking hot. <laughs> And also glad we're engaged too. Mm -hmm. That podcast drops the Thursday before a professional wrestling pay per view. All this information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're looking through there, clicking around. You know you're gonna find some men we design merch. Go buy it. You know you want to. And again, if you want to support our work and buy us a coffee or donate to PayPal, feel free to do so. You do not have to. Um, we're gonna be. Moving things around a little bit over here in the next few weeks, so stay tuned, stick around. And we're also so happy that MCK was here. We had so much fun on Halloween celebrating together. We're Vampire's Daughters, and he's Bella Lagasse's son. And if you've seen Plan 9 from Outer Space, you'll know why he's covering his face. For those of you over 30, you should know. <laughs> yes, we're so thankful that you're here too. We'll talk to you soon. Love and share. Bye! Bye!